Hi, I'm Van Harding and I'm an acupuncturist. I specialize in a very unique form of acupuncture. It's called neuroacupuncture, sometimes scalp acupuncture. It's a bit different than what we think of as acupuncture about moving chi and blood and those types of things. This form of acupuncture came about about 50 years ago and it was put together and studied by basically brain surgeons and neurologists over in China. In the past few decades there have been some practitioners who came to the United States and who've been doing some education and teaching of scalp acupuncture. And I've been fortunate to study one of the four most leading practitioners and innovative uh, doctors in this area, Dr. Jure. So in this protocol that they have with neuroacupuncture, it can have profound results working with someone who has a brain injury like from a stroke or from a traumatic brain injury or what we also call concussion syndrome where there's been repeated small injuries to the brain that have just built up over time and now caused damage. What's fascinating about this is within a few treatments you can see some profound results. It is amazing what you're going to see a few moments in a video of patients who were recently treated at the Brain Hospital of Neurology in Qingdao, China. At that hospital, Dr. Zhur has been traveling there for the past decade once a year for about two weeks working with his team of assistants and apprentices where they treat patients inside the emergency room, in the intensive care, and in the physical rehabilitation unit. Now that's different than what we do here in the United States. We don't treat patients with acupuncture in the ER or even in the ICU. It's usually not until a patient has been completely discharged from the hospital and they have completed their rehabilitation. So what happens in China is this early intervention activates the brain and it activates regions of the brain that have been injured because they can target with the scalp acupuncture the locations. As well, through the acupuncture, you can stimulate the body's own healing processes of anti-inflammatories. And inflammation is one of the number one problems when there's a brain injury. It's treated with corticoid steroids here in the United States. They do that as well in China. Because what you're going to see in this video is that their hospitals are just as sophisticated using the same modern technology and the same protocols that we use here in the United States. It's just that they do that one extra step. They bring in the acupuncture. Now that's not going to happen anytime soon here in the United States. It's probably decades, if not two decades away, before extensive research is done here in the United States. But I'm here in the United States today to bring this protocol to work with patients that once you have gotten out of the hospital, we can get right onto the protocol and start making some real big changes very quickly. In June of 2004, Dr. Zhur and his associates and a few of his apprentices traveled here to the Qingdao Neurological and Brain Hospital in Qingdao, China. So here you're going to see some of the patients who are in the ICU and in the recovery or rehabilitation ward. Some of these patients got dramatic results within just a couple of days or within two weeks. <笑>好的 
是钱币。这这两句，这两句，这两句。几天了？一周了。一周了。这首，现在这首开始，抬起来，带带这个了。不行，不要说。你行不行？你不管他。把他今天先去抱一把。没关系，没关系。哎，好吧，啊，嗯嗯。洗脸的时候，嗯，我又发现这个地方耳朵，我的这一块全硬，没知觉。那我扶你多，够吗？够，慢慢，慢慢，对。哎，最后，最后，我不扶你，最后，我保护你，懂吗？对，懂了。那你不使劲。哈哈哈哈哈！把他这。好，谢谢啊。争取过头哈，对。Really good. 哎，这应该是以前的钢塞，这是以前的，这是陈旧的。转过去我看，用力转。转转转转转。昨天走。昨天走。昨天走。对，抓到我的手，啊，挺有劲儿了，好多了，嗯哼，这原来不要是抓上了，反过来都不可以，你看很快吧？几点回家？高不高兴？高兴。好了，走，回家。少。啊啊哦哦！其实发质，就是说有淤血，中医说的有淤血，不怕了吧？会不会笑一笑？好嘞，会吧？这样，少美的，我真想了，哎呦，我真我真幸福，俺能安在，俺是能安在。What we just saw in the video was six different That's patients treated during a two-week period. One of the patients, our 70-year-old female, she had had a right cerebral infarct. That's very common. But she ended up where you saw that she had left side paralysis. She couldn't move her left arm and her left leg. In the video, you're seeing Dr. Pei. He is a neurologist. He's been with the hospital for more than 10 years. He has invited Dr. Jur during these past 10 years to do the scalp acupuncture once a year for two weeks. So during that time frame, these patients get this unique treatment and profound results. And Dr. Pei, being a neurologist, he knows what the clinical outcome typically is when you're looking at those test results, when you see that area of the brain and to the extent of the damage that occurred. He follows up and he does a neurological workup. And in doing that, you can see where the disability is, what the extent of it is. And we have a pretty good idea with, you know, years and years and decades of patients having these types of brain injuries, what the, you know, what we would say the prognosis can be for them. Well, with the scalp acupuncture, Dr. Pei, he saw big changes. That's why he continued to have Dr. Jure come to the hospital once a year. And after 10 years, he himself has become head of that hospital. It has 400 beds, and they treat patients all the time from other regional hospitals or transfer to this hospital because that's what it specializes in, neurologic and brain injuries. Well, with that, Dr. Pei is now establishing a training program with this treatment protocol because of the effects. And just, just what are those effects? What are these outcomes that are so different? Well, a patient in China or here in the United States, once you get stabilized and you get, you know, back into your rehab and they test you neurologically, 
we do have physical therapy protocols which many times can be very helpful and help to restore some of the functions. And it is normal that after a few days, things look a lot better. Things get some good improvement. But after that few day time period, three days to six days, what we see as a recovery is usually what the patient is stuck with. And we don't expect too much of an improvement once you get past two weeks and once you get past a month or after six weeks. What you are when you come out of physical rehab pretty much in China or even in the United States, your neurologist is going to say, well, I think this is as good as it gets. Uh, we've gone through the program and you never know with the brain. It, it, it might do some improvement over time. But for right now, we think this is as good as it's going to get. But that's not what is happening with this protocol. So when a patient basically has been rendered convalesced in bed, can't move the left arm, the left leg, needs to have someone attend to them for their daily activities, whether it's eating or going to the bathroom, getting dressed, they have to have assistance. This is why Dr. Pei has jumped onto this protocol because those patients, which even having gone through rehabilitation and everything that modern bioscience has to offer, many of them sometimes are still convalesced in bed. But with the protocol, some of them are standing in three days. They are walking on their own in two weeks. That's what you saw in this video with our 70-year-old patient, as well as the wearing the red outfit. And as we can see here, she said that one morning she was standing, brushing her teeth when she felt part of the backside of her head and neck go numb. She too, she had a right cerebral infarct. And when she arrived at the hospital, it was just three days before Dr. Zhur and his team had arrived. And that's why she got treated within three days, the very first day she began to stand. Even though it's not seen in the video, we have it in the archive data of whereby in the neurologic workup, she couldn't move her left arm or her left leg on the first neurologic workup. And within 30 minutes, they were asking her to sit up. That's right, within 30 minutes, they were asking her to sit up and try to stand. And she did, and that's what you see in the video with Dr. Pei assisting her. And that's very different. I mean, in the United States, our standard protocol is, oh, don't push the patient. <laughs> you know, they've got a brain injury, keep them in bed, don't do too much. It's very different over in China with this particular protocol. They have found that by re-engaging all of the nervous system, asking the person to stand, get back into that upright body posture, it taps into part of the neural networks that are already in place. But right now, with all the inflammation and some of the collateral damage, those neurons are not necessarily speaking to each other very well. But when you activate them through the scalp acupuncture, it is firing off regions in the brain that are in those areas which have been impacted and it basically reestablishes that connection. That's why you can have such profound results. Dr. Pei and his hospital, China, are going to be doing research on this because they have seen it for a decade consistently with predictable results. I'm excited to be bringing this here to the Los Angeles area because we have a tremendous amount of need for people who had strokes. And even though we're not going to apply this while you're in hospital, we can do this while you're in rehabilitation, if we can get your rehabilitation facility to agree. As you can see in the protocol, it's very gentle. It's needles, very, very small needles, acupuncture needles, which are inserted into the scalp. And while working with your therapist, I am manipulating those needles to keep stimulating that area of the brain, asking that part of the brain that has your arm, come on, wake up now, connect, 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 while we're doing simultaneous neurotherapy. So it's very gentle. It's non-invasive. It's not drugs. And the big key to this is that it is reproducible. You have to be with a certain criteria, meaning what was the extent of damage that you had with your stroke or what happened to your loved one. That's why I invite you to contact me and take advantage of my free 30-minute consultation where I'll take a look at your case and to see, make that determination if this is a possibility for you or your loved one.